Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true dot of Wilkama. To Elden Ring, a game which it feels weird to describe as a Souls-like, because this is made by From Software, it's Souls, but then it's not Souls, because it's very clearly a distinct thing. Is Souls written on screen right now? No, no it's not, and yet it kind of feels like it should be. Like, I swear they're even using some of the same fonts as Dark Souls 3, but apparently this is a bit more like open world. So, okay, let's focus on the bits that we know are going to be true. Number one, I'm about to build a character without understanding what half the stats do. And two, that character is going to die. A lot. And there's all sorts of fun new people over here, like myself the Samurai, Prophet, Good Little Blindfold. But, back in the Dark Souls games, Assassin kind of worked for me and some good arcane, so I could do a bit of magic too. I do really appreciate, by the way, how you could give yourself a really messy haircut, so one of your eyes is completely obscured, and then you could give yourself an eye patch that covers the other eye. So okay, my excuse for all the death you're about to see is, uh, my character couldn't bloody see, alright? So, as is somewhat traditional, it would appear that I am uh, dead, and in some form of a horrific, broken down, nightmare dead city, and I need to go get the bits of the Elden Ring, because some idiot broke the Elden Ring, so there's fragments of it dotted about, but everyone who gets a fragment goes insane and probably becomes a boss. So I should go get those, which I feel won't end well for me, but screw it, we'll just go with it, I suppose. Beyond that, everything seems a pretty similar. Blocking and parrying, light attacks, heavy attacks, nice roll, nice jump. Okay, very familiar. Gotcha. So, crack that open, and I'm guessing it's not like, you know, nice sunny day outside. Okay, gonna be honest, not as bad as I was expecting. Giant tree, not sure what the deal with the giant tree is, but there's a giant tree, probably go towards uh, the giant tree. Welcome to the Chapel of Anticipation. I swear they're using the same bloody font, and also... Okay, I can just break stuff. By jumping into it, I am that much of a badass. Oh, I'm a mite concerned that, uh, yes, immediately after starting, there's a wibbly door right there, which is the only door I can go through. So I suspect the game's going to force me to, uh, yes, do a, uh-oh. Yes, okay, so, 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 there's a grafted McJibble over there. That's, no, 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 you, oh, yeah, you need to prove you can do a boss fight. That's half my health. Um... Is there any chance we could just... Oh, bloody hell. No! Okay. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I'm guessing that was one of those uh, meant-to-lose fights for 99% of players. Oh, but maybe I get blessed by the sacred goat now. Oh, yeah. I was definitely supposed to die. Because now I've picked up the Flask of Crimson Tears... Uh, and the Flask of Cerulean Tears. So, okay, that's my hit points and my magic coming back. Gotcha. And while there's a door there, the Cave of Knowledge lies below. So, all right, probably want to go to the Cave of Knowledge first, I'm guessing. And, oh, bloody hell. No, I'm fine. Thought that might be a bit far, but I'm fine. Right, new look bonfire is now apparently a grace. Lovely. My lost grace has been discovered. Though also, I see a monster over there. And get behind you. I am, well, I'm not an assassin. But like, I'm kind of an assassin, Ad. Go! Okay, that works pretty well anyway. Yeah, I feel better now I'm down inside this tunnel of uh, very simple zombies who are very slow. Because it just reassures me... Yes, the fight against the spider skeleton, that was definitely one I wasn't supposed to win. So, I feel better now. Oh, and here's a good opportunity for me to test out my new ability to use my own bow. So, Captain has a bow up there, he's uh, ready to go. So, okay, just get the bow ready. And then, as soon as an opportunity presents itself, pull and release. And, okay, that doesn't do much, to be honest, but it does, you know, something. Oh! Hello, sexy. You've decided to come down and say hi, have ya? Well, okay, fair enough, and uh, round the back and then stab, 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 stab. Sucks to be you, buddy. Right, okay, see how we're going here. See how we're going. 
Oh, it is nice. Apparently from software are going a bit soft in their old age. So, yes, you don't have to restart the bonfire or a uh, site of grace. This little statue right here, you can just restart here instead if you want to. Which I'm guessing is about to become relevant because... Okay, is it time for rematch versus uh, the spider skeleton? Because I feel like I'm not ready for the spider skeleton. No. But alright. We'll give it a go, see what's about to bloody happen. Soldier of Godric. Okay, maybe just get the bow ready for... Uh-oh. Okay, just... No, no, not that one. Primary, primary, primary. I am busy trying to shoot him, but okay. Guard counters. So, block, and then break his stance. I am trying to shoot him, and uh-oh, oh, but block. Okay, go. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that did... That did a surprisingly good amount of work, actually. Okay, he's not that tough. He ain't that tough. He ain't that tough. So, block, then counterattack immediately afterwards. This guy is no spider skeleton. We'll give him that, and then get round the back, and then... Okay, he's much easier than the spider skeleton. And that brings me back to the starting area. So, I'm guessing, yes, if you just want to skip that, because you know your basics, you can do. Just go to the door when you die. Actually, if you know what you're doing, you might well just defeat the spider skeleton first time. Good luck. Oh, now tell ya. This is nice. Kind of assumed I was dead and I was going to be inside a nightmare dead world for like ever. But this is much nicer than I was expecting. Oh, and I had noticed this by the way. So the new grace bonfires, uh, they kind of indicate where you might want to go. Because yeah, the game's a bit more open than it used to be. Seriously, now I think about it. I don't trust that guy over there at all. How about we just assassinate some eagles? Because we can do that and these eagles are going to mess me up, aren't they? No! Okay, I could just help myself to some feathers, which I might need potentially to make more arrows because I like the arrows. And hello over there, tiny beast bones. So okay, kill animals, gather stuff. There might be a bit more gathering and crafting than I'm used to. Okay, I've just saved at the bonfire. So I'm going to go and check whether the knight is chill or not. Because he's got a giant scythe. He's definitely got a giant scythe. Okay, I've decided that he's definitely not. Okay, we're just gonna keep our distance from him, and instead, yes, this here cow, this is more my speed, yes. And it can roll away. Well, that's just fascinating. Okay, this one's not started rolling yet. We'll go for this one. So, all right, now I'm curious. If I don't feel like, you know, going to the source of the great tree, or the castle beyond, or the monsters within, how far can I just say, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna go swim to that island over there. There appears to be a giant skinless troll, but we can stay away from, from a hem. All right, he's over there. I'm not over there. I'm over here. There's also, it's a glowing skull, but that's probably fine too. Just stay down. I feel like we stabbed the skull, right? There we go. Stab the glowing skull. That gets me runes that do something. Keep an eye out for, yes, potentially the giant skinless troll. He's still around uh, somewhere or another. Okay, I think I can survive this drop, but it might be a bit of a one-way trip. So, all right, just, just hope, 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 hope. Nope, we're fine. We're absolutely... There's penguins. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. I just want whatever you've got, buddy. Okay, call it now. Giant crab monster. I'm saying giant crab monster is going to appear. Can I swim? I'd like to be able to swim. And ideally I can. All the water's just... I cannot swim. Okay, I've come to get my grace back because I just do not learn my lesson. Stay away from the massive drop. Okay, got my runes back. Great, that might be what souls are in this game. But actually there might be... Ooh. There might be something under here. Are you by any chance a trader, buddy? Because I need a better dagger. Okay, he's not got much, but I will take some arrows off his hands. Oh, hello. There's... There's something. I'm just going to shoot it with my bow. 
and just keep trying. There's just there's a big slug. Just put some arrows into it. Okay, that's doing something. Is it coming this way? I feel like it might be more dangerous if it comes above ground. Maybe we just leave those alone, actually. Just ignore the really gross sea slug thing. And there's also... Ooh, there's skeletons. Okay, can we take them out? Okay, well, we can do a lot to them. Yes, actually. Watch out for the other one. Okay, there's... Oh, there's a whole family. There's a whole family. They're having a picnic. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your picnic. Also, there's slugs over here now. Okay, just, 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 just go over here. Get around the back. Take out Captain Crossbow. Take out Captain Crossbow. Because him, I'm guessing we can do a good job with right now. And then, ow! Okay, they definitely got a bit of a hit in there. Just drink some of my stuff. Then maybe keep on jumping. Because, no, ow! What a dick. And no, get out the... Okay, this is, this is fine. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can take out the skeletons. Because there's going to be some good stuff going on right over. No! Ow! Ow! I, I've almost got him. And then get out of the way. Now drink, 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 drink. And now just get out of the way again. It's fine. It's fine. There's definitely something else going on. Oh, I feel like they're just regrowing. They just regrow. But I've got myself a gold pickled foul foot. I'd say we're going to call that a massive win and then just leave forever. Okay, meanwhile, the other side of the beach. Oh, bloody hell, there's a giant terrifying octopus creature. And uh, there's whatever you are. And no, no. Just put one shot on him. As soon as he holds still, I'm just curious how tough he is. Oh, he's not tough. He's not tough at all. Okay, so beach trolls, them we can deal with. So just take you out right over there. Take you out too, buddy. I'm going to keep our distance from the giant terrifying octo crab. Now, I don't really want to kill a giant tortoise. I feel bad about killing a giant tortoise. Okay, how does the giant tortoise feel about me? I'm sorry, buddy. This is nothing personal. I just might need the crafting material. So, oh, he's quite tough. Oh, he's not that tough. Okay, I need to break his stance. I think his stance is I have a shell. So if I break that, there's some uh, turtle meat. Oh, I do feel bad. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to keep my distance. I've decided I do not want to be around here. But I'm picking up rune fragments. That might be for the good. There's a... Uh, golden stuff over there. There's all sorts of glowy bits and pieces. Uh, sun is... Oh, the sun's out. Okay, I'm having a lovely day at the beach all of a sudden. If we overlook the murder of uh, the innocent sweet tortoise. Okay, I will say I'm enjoying the new open world thing where you can go around and explore a bit. Feel like you're master of your own destiny a bit more than you used to be. I just failed to assassinate a penguin. Well done, May. No, seriously, what's going on with with this. Is this something I should be chasing? Or something I should be very much staying away from? Because I don't know which is more likely. Maybe we just stay out of its way for the time being. Because somebody has lit a fire at the very end of the beach. Oh yeah, hello buddy. Are you a better shop? Because the last one was terrible. Oh, hang on. No, no. This this guy's not a shop. He's not a shop. He's not a shop. He's not a shop. He's not happy I was there. I think I might have just, like, stolen the corpse of his friend or something. So, okay. Um, how are we, how are we doing, buddy? He's not, he's not happy about me. He's not happy about me at all. So just, okay. Just use my tiny, tiny, comically small shield. And, okay. Well, the bare minimum. Oh, that did not do much. No. Okay, just block. Okay, maybe just wait for him to swing with his... Comically large sword, and then I can get a whole bunch of good hits in. There's the crit, which is uh, crucial. And then, yeah, you got to break the stance. I'm not really sure how you break the stance, but you need to break the stance. Now there's a good chance to get some good hits in. And in just a moment, we will... Let's call that a tie. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sneak up behind Captain McBastard, and we're going to knife him in the back. Then we keep our distance, we keep our guard up, and when the moment is right, we simply jump in and try and break the guard, get the crit. Once the crit has been achieved, we get back out the way. So just get over here, and if we're very lucky, big attack! Screw you, you stupid bastard! Okay, and there we go, there's a massive crit. He's already almost dead. Now we just wait with the shield up for a good opportunity, and go! 
And then we finish you. Okay, you got one good hit in. It almost happened again, but it didn't, because in the end, we got him. So screw you, you stupid beachy bastards. Okay, just one thing remains. We've got to get past Skinless McMountain. So that's fine. Just need to wait for him to be past me then. Oh, bloody hell. He just goes up and down, doesn't he? Yes, yes, he does. Okay, just... Get over to this side. Fast as you bloody can, please. Don't hang about. And then we're going to wait behind these rocks for him to pass by. Alright, here we go. Down you go, buddy. Down you go. We just drop down over here. Pick some flowers. And we are away. Love it. Right, back to where I was supposed to be starting. Don't go anywhere near the bloody Night of Doom, because I'm probably a monstrosity. Instead, just loop around him and head towards the church. That was the direction the golden thing said to go. So ignore the adorable rolling goats. We don't need to worry about them. Instead, just get over to here and prepare for trouble. Because I feel like there's potentially going to be aforementioned trouble. Alright, there's... Well, there's Santa Claus. I mean, generally, he's not too much trouble, right? Or a shop. He might just be a shop. Oh, and buddy, this has got to be where we start. Crafting kits. And on top of that, I need pots to do certain crafting, so... Go on, buddy. I'll take the lot. And now all of a sudden, uh, oh, we're getting somewhere. And even better, giant pile of fire pots. Okay, we'll definitely be having some of that. Though, I see. I can only have three, because I've only got three pots to make them in. Okay, you know what I think we should do? We should buy more crafting recipes. I don't know what it's going to give me, but what I'm really looking for is... Uh, the ability to craft my own arrows. And that's precisely what I just got. Beautiful. So, okay, we need to kill goats. Like, so many goats. And the pile of glowiness says, hey, this is the way to go. So, all right. It would appear to want me to go towards uh, the giant tree, not straight up towards the castle. And there is also a hello there, buddy. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. I see you. And in just a second, we just give you the good old dagger in the back. Oh, ho, ho. there's the crit. Lovely. I enjoy being a massive assassin badass. That's just so much better than having to learn how to dodge and parry and whatnot. So once again, just behind you and up the jack. See? And one more over here too. Now, there was also what appears to be a cave. Well, safe down. We're going in. I'm pretty sure I saw, yeah, a wolf. So, okay. How many are we talking about? Because if it's just like one or two, bring in the bow, shoot them down, no trouble. I only see one. Lock on. Draw the bow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good dodge. Good dodge. Worst dodge. How many more are we talking? Okay, there's also one. Well, there's one right there. They seem to be unaware of me. So that's good. And you haven't got up yet either. Oh, there's a proper big one. Okay, that's the boss. That's the boss one right there. Okay, it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time to block. And then he doesn't seem to be able to get up to me. Okay, so lunging attack. Okay, he went up and I went down. Great, we're doing... We're doing... Okay, there's, there's more of them, actually. Okay, there's more of them, there's more of them, there's more of them. Take out that one. Now get out the way, because he's going to be around. Okay, just shield up, shield up, shield up, and... No, you don't, buddy. Break his stance. Down goes the wolf. First time. He wasn't like a boss or anything, but still, I did it first time. And then more. Okay, there are more who haven't... Haven't woken up. 
Okay, it's just getting there and attack! Oh ho ho! Yeah, badass. Super badass. And no! Now just go in. Screw you, buddy. Okay, so I'm guessing that there was not the boss wolf. But like, I mean, I've got plenty of arrows. Oh, go on. We may as well die to a giant wolf while we're passing by and the beast might have... It's not a wolf. 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 It's, it's a something. It's, it's a something. And I'm guessing this is going to... I'll tell you what, that didn't do too bad. That didn't do too bad at all. Get back. And then... No. Okay. Now the problem I've got is stamina. Stamina is going to be an issue. Stamina is going to be an issue. Keep my blocker. Keep my blocker. Keep my blocker. And... And he goes in for a big... Oh, blimey. Okay, he went in for... He went in for a bigger thing than I was expecting there. Right, so there's a giant wolf man at the bottom of the cave. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. And go. There we go. That's a little bit of damage over time. Back away and... No! Ow! 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 Okay, that was... That was not the right time to do that. I need to wait for him to finish off a big attack. And now's a good time. Now's a good time. Now is sort of a good time. And now get back over to my fire bombs and go. Okay, that interrupts him. It doesn't do much damage. And he's doing a lot to... He gets like two attacks in for the price of one. Which is a problem. It must be. It must be said. I feel like I might be a little bit out of my depth here. A little bit out of my depth, actually. Okay, shield up, shield up, shield up, shield up, shield up. And just wait for him to do his big thing. Okay, and he's got more yet. Yeah, he comes in for... The big round. It's a four-stage attack. The swing at the end. That's the big one. So then he goes for one, two, and then after the... Okay, but then I can... Then I get in like one hit and it's nothing. <laughs> then he kills me because he can just bypass my, my block because I'm using the... Okay, you know what? There wasn't that many souls. How about we just let the beast man of Faramazula be? Alright, he's having a nice time down here. No trouble, mate. No trouble. Okay, round the corner. I'm pretty sure this is where the game was trying to uh, direct me. Big gate and a camp. Okay. I see you guarding the camp, buddy. And I see that. And a Raishu sneaking up behind you and stabbing you in the arse. Because that seems to work pretty bloody well, actually. Yeah, so okay. There's Captain at front door taken care of. Uh, now, there is a massive gate right here. With what would appear to be a right. Now, there's a save point. Probably best we, uh, yes, bank our progress right there. Though, if that's there, what's the point of even dealing with uh, the camp? Aside from for fun. Oh, it's the woman who is riding the magic goat. Oh, she's probably really annoyed at what I've been doing to goat sense. Oh, and she's also the level up woman, which would be great, except, um, small embarrassing thing. Um, so all my souls, or runes as they apparently are, bit of a miscalculation about how well I could deal with a giant wolf man. But on the other hand, if I was to just assassinate this entire bloody camp, without anybody ever realising, and just getting behind everybody and stabby, stabby, stab. I might have a giant pile of souls in and no time whatso bloody ever. There we go. No trouble. Now I'll have a tiny bit more on the way of hit points. And now I've got the map, I can actually see what's going on a bit better. So, okay. This entire time, in this entire first bloody area, which is obviously not going to be uh, that much, I've managed to make it from... The first step to here. I am maybe a third of the way to the castle by distance. And we're not done not making progress yet. Because as the map told me, apparently there was a cave. Um, yes, the beach goblins. They just had a, a cave that I completely bloody missed. So, uh, alright buddy. How about we just line up a nice shot against you and that should be... Fine, right up there, and we'll just be getting you down too. 
And oh, you've got friends. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, this is this is this is fine. This is all absolutely okay. And go, go, go. Right, that's you, nice and. Oh, hang on. I thought he was doing a projectile, but he's not. Also, you've got no shield. So how about you go down first, buddy? And then, oh, you've got a special thing. Don't know what that thing is, but I feel like I can just basically outspeed you, so I'm not too worried. And uh, yes, indeed, you've just got slow ass clubs. Okay, so we can just brute force past these guys. Uh, so, okay, into the giant cave. Uh, let's just see what you guys have uh, got. Probably more goblins, uh, but as we've established, that's not too difficult to deal with. Uh, ideally, uh, treasure. Treasure and no boss. Treasure and no boss would be great. Oh, hello. Sorry, I just ran straight into one of them. And I didn't even realise uh, he was there. There's... There's goblins here. And it's really, really cocky dark. Um... So I'm not 100% sure where they where they are. Well, I see I see you kind of... Well, I conceptually see you. Oh, hang on. No, don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me, buddy. Okay, I think I've found where they live. The problem is they can uh, see in the dark and I can't. Okay, luckily these guys seem to be pretty slow for the most part. So as long as I don't get myself caught up on some rocks, I can just straight up brute force them. And hello, I see you over there. How many are we talking? Enough to... Enough to toss a bomb. Yep, decided that's what we're doing. And now just no to you. No to you as well. Oh, I'm taking bleeding damage, I think. How are we doing, by the way? There's definitely some... Ooh, glass. Okay, so these guys uh, got me spiked club. Probably didn't need... I can't see a bloody thing. Oh, no, I feel like this. This here is the sort of cave I don't really want to go into. But yeah, I see ya. I see you guys. Now, actually, no. There's... There's sneaky bushes in here. And also, one of them. It's one of them sea slugs. Didn't appreciate them, but that's all absolutely okay. Just right back over here. Hi, buddy. Hi there. Hi, hi. Oh, there were, there were. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, no. He was, 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 he was. This was a boss room. I was tricked. I didn't realize this was going to be a boss room. There wasn't a wibbly thing. There wasn't a wibbly thing. That's cheating. There's, uh, there's two of them and they're really cooking fast and... A thousand souls really isn't that much when you think about it. But that's okay. Because that's not even really why I came to the beach. I came here because that goat woman gave me something else. And that something else was a ghost horse. So okay, join normal jump. Double jump, because I've got a ghost horse. But, 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 but. Down here, down at this side of the area, there was a 100% a special... Oh, blimey. Alright, chill out frame rate. It's fine. I'm just riding a ghost horse. There was a special mega jump. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Make sure I understand this. Jump one on horseback near a spirit string to ride its current high into the air. So... I mean, I don't know what this means, but it feels kind of good to me. So we're just going to... Yes! Jump! Where the flip am I going? So you've got to actually be aiming at something. Okay, now one might reasonably assume the objective is to end up on top of there. I don't 100% know why I want to end up on top of here, but... This seems about right. Yes. Yes. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There's, there's more over. Okay, there's more over here. And that gets me... This just gets me back where I started, doesn't it? That was completely bloody pointless. Now that I've got a horse, so in theory, I might just be able to go around uh, really fast. Buddy, 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 buddy. Just sneak up behind him. Sneak up behind him. And... Jump! Screw you, buddy! Screw you! Right, that's the tree sentinel. Oh, the frame rate doesn't like him. Not one little go. Go. I feel like we don't want to fight the tree sentinel. The tree sentinel can just take care of the trees. It's fine. Seriously, the frame rate. Not happy. And this isn't lag, by the way. I'm not online. This is offline mode. But for some reason, it's a bit not happy with me anyway. Okay, my ghost horse does definitely make it a bit easier to get around from point A to point B. I'll give it that. And uh, 
Okay, the bare minimum. We've got to take out someone on horseback. So go, go, go. Oh, it's quite, quite tricky to get the angle right. Ow, leave my horse alone, you bastard. Uh, okay, my horse definitely has a, a little bit of an issue. Can I... Uh, I can pillage uh, from a horseback. That's good at least. And there's... Oh, bloody hell. There's more bloody caves. Oh, this is... This is never going to be a good idea. The Stormfoot Catacombs. This is definitely a mistake. I mean, on the other hand, Skyrim style. I know who's... Oh, okay, I don't, I don't know who's about to wake up. I don't know who's about to wake I don't know who's about to... You know what? I'm, I'm fine. This is... They can just have the tombs. I don't really need them for anything. Oh, but then again, they may hit hard. But they've got, like, no health. So, all right. More of them up there. Go. Go and... Oh, okay. He's, he's around now. There's 44. And now he's coming. No, didn't see me. All right. Take him out. These guys are dangerous. Just... Might only be one or two per room. I see ya. Hi, buddy. Don't mind, mate. Just using my bow. Bit of target practice. No trouble. There is going to be a boss. At the end of this area, what the cock is that noise? If we're lucky, it's just water. If we're unlucky, it's a flamethrower. That's it's worse than I was expecting. Yep, that's that's pretty bad. Do we have a plan for how to get around said flamethrower? Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. There's you absolute dicks. I don't even like you. Okay, get, get the cock out of... Dodger. Okay, this is, this is, something else is, I think he might have just died to the fire, the stupid bastards. I might be able to sprint down to that alcove in time to get in before there's too much trouble. I mean, maybe. Go, 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 in. And there's, oh, there's, it's fine. There are safe zones. There are safe zones. There's. It's all under control. There's, there's more around here. And then there's another safe zone over there. This is not what I was expecting today. But we are where we are. And just... Ow! That was... Okay, there's a very hard divide between when you are and aren't in the fire. And it's not entirely clear, to be honest. But go, 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 go! It's all fine. There we go. Now it's all safe. There is a monster over there. I can see the monster on the wall. This was a mistake. This entire adventure was a mistake, all right? The idiots who've got the fragments of the Elden Ring, they can keep it. I don't need it for anything. It's fine. They're right there. All right, good. Good, 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 good. How many more are we talking? I think I'm upstairs from where I was. So go and then launch another and then just one more. No! It's all fine. Gargoyles, we got them. It's... No, 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 kick it off the edge, 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 kick it off the edge. I fell off the edge too. Are we, are we, are we fine? Are we, no, no, it's, it's, we're both. Let's call it a tie. Okay, eyes on the prize, John, eyes on the prize. My ghost girlfriend said, hey, I wish to be taken to the foot of the elder tree. So that's what we're going to bloody well do. Because if we just return to this portcullis, according to the map, that should lead me in the right direction. Towards the... Where's the Elder Train? Is is that it? These are like man-made structures. I'm not 100% sure where the Elder Tree is. Also, I feel like in about, yeah, 30-odd seconds, I'm going to regret trying to go this way. This just... This just doesn't seem like the way to go, does it? Okay, so, yep. Obvious trap, obvious trap, obvious trap. And then jump and uh, double jump away. Okay, so we're just going to, to bypass all of this. Screw you, stupid bastards. Uh, just going to... Okay, horn man has just horned, uh, which I'm assuming means uh, reinforcements. But those reinforcements are now going back over there. I'm not even over there anymore. I'm way over here. Now we're approaching Storm Hell. Wait, hang on. Is the... Is the giant tree maybe closer than I thought, actually? Now I'm hearing wolves. Okay, don't worry about that. It's fine. 
I've got a ghost horse. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on in this direction. No trouble. No trouble at all. Hi, guys. Live and let live. And seriously, the frame rate is not a happy bunny. Then straight through here and jump. And they've got a ballista. It's fine. Just charge straight at it. Straight through over here. Okay, so you can't be on a horse in sight. Can you, however, outrun some of these bastards inside? I mean, if we're lucky, maybe. Okay, only a handful of them are in pursuit. Most of them have given up to a dead. And there's a save point right here. And also, 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 also. So that ballista that you tried to shoot me with, like, two and a half minutes ago... Can't help but notice it's now just sort of uh, sitting here, unguarded, with uh, major enemies just sitting on the road uh, in front of it. And guys, 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 you're making me happy today. This here, this is what I wanted to see. So just back down again, if you'd be so kind. Please, game. You've got to let me do this. It would be cruel and unusual if you... How dare you? Zero out of ten. Further up the road, though. It's all gone a bit Dark Souls 3 up here. Alright, just... Maybe stay... Uh-oh. 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 Emboldened by the flame of ambition. I'm guessing this lad's got one of the rings. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the point where I need to actually... Like, you know, make some progress. And ow! Bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. All right. Get behind him! He's coming in for a... I thought I was going to be past him there, but I was not particularly... Put these foolish ambitions to rest. I mean, fair play to him. He wanted it more. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Elden Ring. And it's a really tricky one for me. In day-to-day -day combat, it feels actually a lot easier than all the Dark Souls games, Sekiro, etc. Just... Day to day, there's a lot more freedom. Maybe it's a function of the open world mechanics to just, you know, get around your opponent, approach them from a good angle, ambush them, get away if there's trouble, etc, etc, etc. So, day to day, there are some more forgiving mechanics than I'd be expecting. But the bosses, to me, just feel a bit tougher, actually. And I can't really put my finger on precisely why. But seriously, they do a lot of damage and have a lot of health. Maybe I'm not preparing well enough. Maybe I should have way better armor, way better weapons, etc, etc, etc. Maybe on me, I may need to, uh, yes, go away and uh, have a think about how to play this game. But, 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 as is tradition, I think it would be very appropriate to do a live stream of this to see if maybe I can recover some of my lost honor or indeed grace if you will, by actually, you know, getting some revenge on some of these bosses who have been absolutely bloody destroying me so far. So, keep your eyes open for that. Might well be happening very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Elden Ring. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially you've gone over the line.